If you're planning on spending any time outdoors anytime soon, which of course we all are, it's summertime, you'll want to be on the lookout though for poison hemlock. KTVB's Shira Matsuzawa talked to the experts today and she has what you need to know so that you can identify this deadly weed. Poison hemlock can grow as high as 10 feet tall and experts say every part of it is dangerous from its stem to its flowers. The sun is out, the flowers are beginning to bloom, and so are the weeds. We have 67 noxious weeds in the state of Idaho. But there's one particular weed that Idahoans should be on the lookout for, starting now. Poison hemlock is one of Idaho's 67 listed noxious weed species. It's also one of the most toxic plants in the western hemisphere. We heard about it, but I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> I guess it'd be nice to know. I had didn't no have, idea. Didn't have any idea. Don't know what it looks like. Don't know anything about it. Is this the same stuff that killed Socrates? Poison hemlock is a similar species to what Socrates drank the poison of and, and ingested the poison and died from. Yes, that's correct. With its white flowers and its fern-like leaves, it doesn't look dangerous, but looks can be deceiving. Poison hemlock often resembles carrots, uh, fennel, or, or wild parsley or dill, but the most distinguishing characteristic of poison hemlock is its purple spots on the stem. You can see all this, this purple coloring right here. Eating any part of the plant can be deadly to both people and animals. You'll see it around a lot of riparian areas, around ponds, around ditches, around canals, anywhere where there's prevalent water. Uh, what you're seeing right down here is first year growth. This is called a rosette. The next year, it'll look like this. Then after that, it seeds and dies. The best way to get rid of poison hemlock is to call your local weed department or simply pull it out. And you can see how easy that pulls up. You can see the rootstock on it uh, kind of looks like a turnip. And all parts of this plants are highly poisonous from the leaves to the flowers to especially the root itself. You can also see that I'm wearing gloves because this plant is highly toxic. You don't want to get the juices onto your hands and then eat an apple or something like that. Hmm. Wow. Well, like I said, we, we heard about it, but I just... <laughs> We're looking for it now. <laughs> With all of the recent rain, the growth of all noxious weeds, including poison hemlock, has been extra heavy. We'll have a link up on our website to learn more about it at KTVB.com. Shira Matsuzawa, Idaho's News Channel 7.